Rotary guns are guns on steroids. Their rotating barrels are capable of delivering a frightening rate of fire and devastation to whoever might cross its operator. Today we're going to look at some of the most powerful that the planet has to offer, and what makes them so lethal. First, let's look at the M61 Vulcan. This is an early Cold War era Gatlin-type autocannon courtesy of the US. It was developed just after World War II for use on fighter aircraft. It marked a move of a smaller caliber for an increased chance to hit. The M61 is a rotary-type autocannon designed for 20 by 102 mm ammunition. The barrel assembly has six barrels and the weapon is externally powered. M61s are usually found on aircraft and are often equipped with a mix of API, HEI, or SAPHEI ammunition. A DU penetrator is used in the phalanx system against inbound anti-ship missiles. The cyclic rate of fire seen on the M61 is a formidable 6,000 RPM. Often, a burst controller is fitted on the aircraft, with bursts ranging from a handful to 50 rounds. The M61A1 variant was designed for use with a linkless feed system. It's often used in a double-ended setup where empty cartridges are fed back into the feed system. The M61A2 lightweight version of its predecessors was developed for use on the F-22 Raptor, but also used on other aircraft like the Super Hornet. This features thinner and lighter barrels, which also increases the spin-up time of the barrel assembly. The rate of fire has been increased on this model to 6,600 RPM. Next is the General Electric GAU 8A Avenger, a 30mm hydraulically driven 7-barrel Gatling-type rotary cannon that is often mounted on the United States Air Force's A-10 Thunderbolt II. It is one of the largest, heaviest, and most powerful aircraft cannons in the United States military. This rotary weapon was specifically designed for the anti-tank role and delivers a very powerful round at a high rate of fire. The Avenger fires 30 by 173 mm ammunition. Original brass and steel-cased ammunition can be fired, although for aircraft use, aluminum-cased ammunition was introduced to reduce the weight of the bullets. Ammunition types include high-explosive incendiary and armor-piercing, including a variant with a depleted uranium core. The rate of fire is selectable at 2100 or 4200 RPM cyclic after spin-up of the barrel assembly. A modification for use on the Thunderbolt introduced a fixed rate of fire of 3900 RPM. Firing is normally done in short bursts, and tests indicate that accuracy and range are better than that of the smaller caliber M61 Vulcan. On top of the Thunderbolt, the other well-known weapon system that uses this gun is the Dutch Goalkeeper Close-In Weapon System. This automated naval gun mount gives a last-ditch defense against inbound anti-ship cruise missiles. The radar systems on mount even follow the trajectory of rounds fired for calibration and correction of fire. A gun similar to the Avenger is the GAU-12 Equalizer. This was based on the Avenger, but fires a NATO series of 25mm ammunition. It's used by the United States, Italy, and Spain. By mounting the weapon in their fighter jets like the AV-8B Harrier II, airborne gunships such as the Lockheed AC-130, and land-based fighting vehicles. It was developed in the 1970s and is operated by a 15-horsepower electric motor and external mounts supplied by a bleed-air-driven pneumatic system. It's got a normal rate of fire of 3,600 rounds per minute, but this can be increased to a maximum of 4,200 rounds per minute. On the gunship, the fire rate is reduced to 1,800 rounds per minute to conserve ammunition and reduce barrel wear. And the 25mm GAU-22A produced by General Dynamics is an externally powered Gatlin gun for use on the F-35 Lightning II fighter. The GAU-22A was built specifically for both the internal and external F-35 gun systems. This four-barrel gun is a derivative of the highly successful five-barrel 25mm equalizer we looked at earlier. Each of the four gun barrels has a breech bolt assembly that fires once per gun revolution. This helps with a long barrel and breech life by distributing the heat and firing forces over all four barrels and breech positions. Continuous rotary motion lessens the impact loads on gun components, extending its life and resulting in extremely high gun reliability. The GAU-22A is over 40 pounds lighter and occupies 20% less volume than its counterpart. 
the gun can be easily configured to sit in either the F-35A internal gun system installation or the F-35B or C missionized gun pods. The M197 electric cannon is essentially a lighter version of the M61 Vulcan that we looked into at the beginning of the video. It was developed primarily for use by U.S. Army helicopter gunships. The build of the gun started in 1967, after experience in the Vietnam War showed how 7.2mm minigun couldn't be used for gunship use. It is three barrels rather than the six seen on the Vulcan, and its maximum rate of fire is only one quarter of the M61. This is largely to limit its recoil for use on light aircraft and helicopters, but it does use the Vulcan's M50 and PGU series 20mm ammunition. The gun is intended for applications that require a lightweight, highly reliable weapon capable of firing up to 1,500 shots per minute. The gun is specifically designed for helicopters, light fixed-wing aircraft, and small naval attack vessels. It can be adapted for turret, pod, pintle, or internal installations using either linked or linkless ammunition feed systems. Currently, the M197 is seen on the Marine Corps AH-1J, AH-1T, AH-1W, and AH-1Z, and it is also used in the GPU-2 or A 20mm gun pod. Power requirements for the M197 are lower than its counterparts because of the gun's continuous rotary motion. The M134 GAU-17 Vulcan cannon is a smaller offering to what we've seen already. This six-barreled, air-cooled, medium machine gun is used primarily as a fire suppression weapon in aircraft for the U.S. The Gatling design relies on electric motors to power the barrels, resulting in a firing rate of as much as 6,000 rounds per minute. It is used in a variety of aircraft in the door gunner position, and is also used by the U.S. Navy for its riverine craft and special operations watercraft. In 1956, the gun was standardized as the M61 20mm, but with the introduction of helicopters to the modern battlefield, the M61 system was redesigned and scaled down for use as a helicopter weapon system. It was then renamed the M134, similar to the M61A1, but fired the much smaller 7.62mm percussion primed rifle cartridge. Capable of firing an impressive 6,000 rounds per minute, the M134 was used on a number of helicopters, such as the UH-1 Iroquois, OH-6 Cayuse, and AH-1 Cobra, as well as the AC-47 gunship during the Vietnam War. What do you think about these rotary guns? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.